I'm in my Seesaw journal here and I'm about to create a activity. So the first thing I'm gonna do is press this green button here and say assign activity. From here, I'm gonna be looking for this create new activity button. Up at the very top, I will put in shape sort as the title. And of course, here's where you include the directions for your students. I'm gonna put just one simple one for now, but you want your directions to be as good as possible so your students understand what to do. Press, I want the icon to show up. So I'm gonna show you right here, this is a list of all the Seesaw icons that you can use. And for mine, I want my students to press this, this icon here to be able to move the shapes around. So I'm gonna type in colon, move, colon. All right, so colon, colon, to move and sort the shapes. All right, so just below that, I have the ability to add voice instructions. This is also really critical for students that are early uh, reading stages. I also have the ability to add multimedia instructions, which is pretty fantastic. So I can take a picture and explain something. I can record a video, and this might be a good opportunity for me to teach a mini lesson here. Of course, I can use a link to have this link to a video, or I could even maybe include some notes for parents. Um, in, in case of parents and, and students are working together. Finally, you have a spot to include a template. So this is the most important part because we're giving the students the background and we're giving them the draggable icons and images and text that they can move around on top of that. So I'm gonna press add template. And the first thing I'm gonna do is click upload and you can upload up to 10 images. I just wanna do my one background image. So I'm gonna say select from computer. Here is my graphic organizer we created in Google Slides. I'm gonna press the check mark. And at this point, this is when you wanna add in all of the draggable elements. So you can add in images that are movable. Let me click on this camera here and go to upload. And at this point, this is when you would want to bring in some of your images. For example, I have a um, apple here. So I'm going to bring that in, open. And you size it up. And now you would bring in all of your images, and these would become movable and draggable by the students. You can press the T and be able to type in text and now this text can be placed down here in like a word bank so all of those would be draggable as well you can also paste in emojis into these this text here and then you can also click on these three dots to go into shapes so this is where i got the different shapes for my shape sort so i'll include a little some triangles here and some squares some circles. So again, resize these. If you want to go change up the color, feel free to do that here and size them up. And now these would become the draggable pieces for my students. So I'm going to go ahead and click the check mark. And now I click save. And now I've created my shape, my shape sort activity inside of Seesaw. At this point, I am ready to share this out with my students or to other teachers. I'll talk about that in just a second.